No, yes, me, well, then see. let me ask you, what is a woman? I watched the, I watched the movie, and it's a, it's a person who needs a man to open their pickle jar. Oh. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Performance. Today, we are going to be checking out a video titled Charlie Kick Crushes Libra Agenda Activists. I believe this is going to be very educative and interesting. So let's start with the video. Go, go. So I grew up right, um, not particularly liking the LGBT community, and in the past several years, I have turned um, to believe that I I really like the LGBT community today. Okay. And I was gonna ask you about a specific person in that community, uh, Ms. Blair White. I haven't thought about. Blair White in a while, but okay. Yeah, I mean, she was on the new Jubilee debate. Wait, is it a biological woman who thinks they're a man? I can't remember. She was, she's a trans woman. Trans okay, so woman. Fake woman. <laughs> so. No, I'm just trying, I'm not even sarcastic. I, I, right. I don't, so it's a man who masquerades as a woman. Masquerading as a woman? That, if you were, I mean, there was a debate she had with, a, you know, Ben Shapiro. If you were to refer to her at, a, like, a restaurant or whatever, you would refer to her as a, as a woman, right? Okay. But, well, yeah, I mean, you could pretend to be black. You could put blackface on. That doesn't make you black. But I'm just wondering, I, I, I'm not even, I don't know much about Blair White. So it's a man who wears the costume of a woman. Is that right? I mean, if you believe that value system, then I no, guess you Well, then let that. me ask you, what is a woman? What is a woman? I watched the, I watched the movie, and it's a... It's a person who needs a man to open their pickle jar. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. So you. I do open my girlfriend's pickle jar. I, I, I can't hear what you said. I do open my girlfriend's pickle jars for her. Still can't hear what you said. I opened my girlfriend's pickle jars for her, I swear. Tough guy. It's a tough guy here. So, so, you can't answer what a woman is. That's not what I said. I did answer what a woman was. Yeah, I mean, rather, so that, that's your final answer? It's like, who wants to be a millionaire? That's your final answer? My that's final what a woman answer, is? Just becoming so, interested. Obviously, the Bible says that a woman is a woman, a person with a vagina, obviously. But I do believe that gender dysphoria is a real thing. And scientifically proven. Right. Well, no, no, it's definitely a mental delusion. The question is, is it what they think they are? Is it what they are? Delusions is strong wow. word, disorder, sure. But a person with a woman's soul and a man's body is a real thing. Okay, say that one, line, one more time. A trans woman is a person with a woman's soul and a man's body. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're willing to appropriate the word woman... Well, I guess it does fit your definition because it's a man who could open a pickle jar. So that's kind of, I guess it fits your definition. <laughs> wow. So then you think so lowly of women that you think that someone can just look like one, put on a bra with a dress and makeup, and that magically they, become, they like enter womanhood. Well, if they have gender dysphoria, then yes. And I don't think lowly of women. I love them. Gender dysphoria is real. Gender dysphoria is a real thing people suffer from, right. but the thing they claim is not real or true. Why? Because there's no evidence for it. I can't for example, hear you. Wow. so hey. can you pick your adjectives? Say that one more time. Can you pick your adjectives in life? I mean, obviously not, right? I'm not okay, so then to tell me if I'm you like can't the... pick your adjectives, why can you pick your pronouns? Wow. <laughs> pronouns are a social construct. You gotta do it one more time. Pronouns are just like when you look at a person, you say, hey, this person looks like a man, right? Like the person you, the, the other person, I forgot, was it Joe Bob? I forgot their name. Sure. But he looked at, I think her name was Chloe. This person looks like a woman. She's a woman, right? Yes. If a trans woman looks like a woman, you're gonna call her a woman on first sight because she looks like a woman. Yes, you might incorrectly label somebody that's trying to trick you. Because they are wearing the equivalent of a Halloween costume because they're <laughs> suffering from a mental disorder. I do believe that they are suffering, and I do believe that... No, no, they are suffering, but let me tell you, yeah. instead of pandering to somebody's torture, we should give them a way out and liberate them with the truth and say that there is a better way forward for you. 
Thank you. Where you don't have to chop off your genitals, get on Lupron, wait, get wait, a mastectomy. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't hear you. There was a crowd. Can you repeat that? Say that. Can you repeat your... You were rambling, and there was a crowd. Rambling. Oh, was rambling. <laughs> All right, next question. We're done. No, 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 no. I couldn't hear no, you. No, if you're going to be a jerk, yourself. we're done. Next question. Yeah. yeah, thanks. And by the way, you don't get to pick your adjectives. You aren't very tall, and you can't change that. So next question. <laughs> wow. What a very interesting and educative video by Charles Kick. Wow. I've really learned a lot from this video and I would like to admire the, the young man who came forth and he was bold enough to ask such question. Wow. And from this video, we have, also, we have learned that uh, a lot of people are suffering from gender dysphoria, but is, uh, the problem is what they thought is truth is not the truth. Instead of us, you know, trying to, uh, instead of us trying to pamper them, trying to feel sorry for them, we should liberate them. We should liberate them and tell them the truth. Hey, we should liberate them by telling them the truth. You cannot just come up, come up and say you, you no longer want to, you no longer want to be a man that you want to be a woman. I think that is, that is really, really unacceptable. And you see, you dressing as a woman with a cos with you dressing as a woman with a costume does not actually makes you a woman. Does not actually makes you a woman. Just like Charlie Kick has rightly said in his video that a lot of them are suffering from mental delusion. What they believe to be true is not actually the truth. What they believe is the truth is not actually the truth. And we have to liberate them by telling them the truth. And just like he rightly said that, just like uh, the boy rightly said that, it has been scientifically proven that a lot of people are suffering from uh, gender dysphoria. And Charlie Kick quite accepted that fact that it's true that a lot of people are suffering from gender dysphoria. But that does not actually mean that, that does not actually mean that we shouldn't tell them the truth. And from what Charlie Kick have explained that a lot of people, a lot of people who claim, uh, who claim they are suffering from mental dysphoria is that, who claim they are suffering from gender dysphoria is as a result of mental delusion. What they perceive to be true is not actually the truth. And true, truly, they are suffering. They are going through a lot. If you check all the process they have to go through just to just to change just to change their gender from from male to female, a lot of them have to go through surgery and operation and all that. That shows they are really suffering. But instead of us feeling mercy for them, feeling pity for them, we have to liberate them by telling them the truth. Because a lot of them that claim they are suffering from gender dysphoria are also are, are actually suffering from mental delusion because what they perceive to be what they perceive to be the truth is not actually the truth. I don't think that anyone can just wake up and say you you no longer want to, you no longer want to be a man you want to be a woman just you want to be a woman when you are born as a man and. Just like he rightly, uh, just like Charlie Kick rightly say that you can masquerade yourself as a woman, you can dress up as a woman, but that doesn't actually makes you a woman. And believe me, I think it's high time we call a spade a spade. It's high time we start telling them the truth. So I've really learned a lot from this video and I believe I'm going to be checking out more of Charlie Kick video. I would like to get your views on this topic. I would like to get your views on this topic. What can you say about gender dysphoria? Do you think we should allow such things to continue to continue to happen in the society? And what is your opinion on this topic?
Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye.